Welcome to my craft room. School's coming to an end, and are you looking for just a little something to, as a token to give your teacher to let her know just how much you appreciate all that she's invested in your youngster? Or perhaps you're looking for a wedding or shower gift. This is inexpensive to make and does not take much time. This I made for Valentine, so you can change it up for whatever the occasion is. Here I have taken a sheet of printer paper, folded it over. I wanted to make sure that the cutouts released with ease. It's going to be a little tight going through, but you can do it. I've chose Regal Rose card stock, and on the 11 inch end, I cut two inches off. We're going to be using that in a little bit for our butterfly. Then I quartered that sheet. So you can get four of these doilies out of just one sheet. You're going to notice that some of the cardstock is embedded in the Sislet's die, but just take your paper piercing tool and you'll be able to get those right out. It's not that hard. And now to remove the larger pieces, I discovered that using my bone folder really made them pop right out. And then for the littler pieces, I used my paper piercing tool. Boy, I I can't live without that paper piercing tool. This is a stack that I just love. These are the brights. They're really bright, beautiful colors. But this comes in all collections. It comes in the in colors, bright, subtles, regals, and the naturals. I chose the Daffodil Delight for the beautiful wings and bosslet dye that I'm running through our big shot right now. This is half of a butterfly. At these points, it stops cutting. I use Dotto to hold these strips in place so that it'd be easy to position my cardstock each time. Now, this is that two inch piece that I told you that I cut off. I have folded that in half. That's really important. And you want to place that on the line. You'll notice that that is connected. Now, I'm, I'm making a little circular motion at the top. That also helped me in cutting it out. And now just V it at the bottom, kind of give it a butterfly shape. And once you get this trim, then once you open it up, then you can perfect that to your satisfaction. No butterfly is just one color, so you want to add the, to this flat surface to bring it to life. Here I'm using Pretty in Pink, which is a light color. You may want to use the Regal Rose if you want something a little bit darker. Remember, you're only sponging around the outer portion of this. Leave the inside unsponged, okay? And now I use the Daffodil Delight, and it's a strong color. I was a little surprised, but I ended up liking it once it dried. But if you don't want it quite such a, a bold color, try using the So Saffron. And then with these beautiful butterfly embosslets, I just went into the portions where the butterfly wings dipped in. But also add a little color to them. I use the mono adhesive, fold your butterfly in half, and put that adhesive just on that crease. You do not want to glue these down. It loses all the dimension that you've worked to get. Now I am punching with our handheld punch. I'm punching three little holes behind that Daffodil Delight butterfly. I want that hidden. <clears throat> Did you know that we carry cello bags? There's 50 comes in a package. We carry 3x5, 4x6, and 6x8. For this one, I am using the 4x6. These are so handy. If you come to my house, girls, I give you chocolate. Does that tempt you? If you live in central Tennessee, give me a call. Using that bone folder, that helps to curve that so that it'll fold up with ease. I love this Baker's Twine. It, 25 yards comes in each package. 
and now we have multiple multiple colors you want to put that through with the ribbon put them in at the very same time it'll make it a lot easier now to know exactly how tight to tie that you want to slide your candy in and once you get that pulled tightly and make your bow you want to pull that baker's twine to the side you're not going to be looping that into the bow we're going to use that to connect our butterfly on I thought this looked so springy. I love the beautiful spring colors. Okay, now adjust that bow. And did you notice that I leave my ribbon on the spool? That way there's no waste. We all like the sound of that, don't we? I'm going to show you a couple of other ideas before connecting that butterfly. These are some flowers I made last summer, and I really got in a kick with these. I just loved it. But there's so many videos out there on flower making. I don't think y'all are interested in seeing me make them. If you are, though, let me know. But these are three different flowers that I made. I put a lot of spritz on this one. Can you tell? Isn't it beautiful? Now from the front to the back, feed that through. And I've got two strands here. And then you'll tie that off and then connect it with a mini glue dot. Boy, aren't those mini glue dots handy? Girls, I want to ask you if you have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator already. And if, if you don't, I'm asking you to choose me. I would love to be that person that would be there for you. If you click on the link below this video, it'll take you right to my website. And there you'll find the materials that I use for this doily favors